Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of my money making series. If you have been enjoying the previous episodes, please make sure to keep liking and subscribing to the channel. And I hope you guys find a lot of value in this video, which is going to relate to the Hunter Method. And I've done a few Hunter Methods lately, but it should be the last one of the money making series for a while. And uh, I hope you find some benefit of it and get hunting very soon. Now this is definitely something you can be doing at a lower level. Green Salamanders will be pretty decent as well because they're using a summoning secondary. Why orange uh, going up? I have no idea because orange and red don't really have a use. So all you do is literally use a net and a rope and just get setting up all these trees. Now you are sort of cursed with these being quite far apart. Um, so it is a bit of a ball ache. Now I'm going to see if the telekinesis spell works. The telekinesis spell which we use on the box traps didn't work. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of an L. So basically what this method is, is just running around these three spawns. I don't think the fourth spawn is worth it because you're away from the traps too long. And basically it's your standard hunter. You um, hunt the salamanders. Every time the trap has a successful loot, you go and loot it. And if you need to reset, you need to reset. I would probably just stay to this three spot spawn here because it seems to be picking them up quite quick and you're just running too far for that four spot. As you can see, we're doing pretty well with filling the info up. So if I examine that, currently orange salamanders are 7.5K. Why? I have no idea, but uh, I would be using the magic no paper. Basically, you've not got a bank anywhere near. You have got the Dominion Tower, but it's a bit long. So um, bring magic no paper, hunt these, um, just for a cycle between these three. If you wanted to do four traps, by all means, use four traps. For me, I think it's going to be more counterproductive and actually productive. And yeah, um, apparently orange salamanders can make up to just under three mil per hour, which um, for a method which then requires sort of 50 hunter is actually not too bad. In terms of Hunter as well, if you wanted to look for an even lower requirement, level 28 will unlock green salamanders. Check the prices for them. Um, again, check your margins. Make sure they sell as well, uh, just to make sure that uh, it's enough profit for yourself to do it. So as always, um, just because this is a very different Hunter method, the other two I'm going to show, well, Ignis Jadinku with Farming Juju Juice will always sell, um, and that will always be profit. So I'm not too concerned about that. I will just check as well. There we go. So that didn't sell for that price. And again, before you do things like this, this is why you always, always check the margins. So as you can see, just a, over 6K, which is less than what the GE price is. But if we can sell these for 59999, that will be pretty, pretty decent. Right. So the next method is one of the old faithfuls in terms of Hunter. So again, we're pretty much using the same invo. Um, we're using the Trapper outfit. But this time, if you've got a Tyrant Quiver 4, this will really, really help you with this because we are going to Grenwalls. Grenwalls have been one of the best profits for Hunter for ever since they've been released and ever since Extreme Potions have been released. They are using the extreme ranging potions and they're one of the best extreme XP per hour potions because they're stackable. They use normal box traps, which are actually quite expensive. So if the box traps decide not to sell in the GE, there is a way to go and buy some. We're going to go to the Hunter store in Yanil. So just got some box traps. Once again, through the magic use of our fantastic trapper outfit, we are going to try and find... There we go, Grenwalls. Which is nice because it means uh, you can go straight there rather than dicking around and banking. Now don't get me wrong, you are limited to teleports on here. I think it's something like five per day. But if you're not, um, if you're going to be staying at your Grimwall spots for a while, it's uh, you won't be moving anytime soon. So here you've got two different things. You've got the Poyers and you've also got the Grimwall. So the Grimwall basically hunt the Poyers. So Poyer meat is what you normally need to make this method viable you need a minimum of a level two to the tyrant quiver what the level two quiver basically does is mean that you don't need bait to hunt gremwalls so beforehand you had to use the poor meat onto the trap to make sure you could hunt gremwalls however with the level two quiver that means that is no longer needed and that's what sort of speeds up your profit per hour is the fact that you don't need to hunt the meat as well now this spot is okay and you will make a decent profit here but a better spot is actually on an anachronia however if anachronia is off limits this is the best place to do it just down from the finish entrance just across and get it it can be a bit long but you do get a couple of gremwall spikes per kill and as you see it don't take many gremwalls hunted to make some decent profit so while we've been here we've got 75 spikes which is making just over 100k However, like I said, the Anachronia spot's better, so I'm just going to show you that just to make sure um, I've covered both the Moth and showed Grenwalls. But like I said, Grenwalls, you can hunt them without a quiver, but you will need poor meat, which you can do with bringing a fruit bat. 
Poise hunt off papayas, so it'll be like a two-stage process. You'll need to hunt poise and then hunt grimwalls. It's more worthwhile just getting the Quiver 2. Get the Quiver 2 and then Grimwalls are an option. They're very decent Hunter XP per hour. You can get some rare around 217k. Igneous Jidinkos are better um, and can be similar profits. These are just over 9 mil per hour. So Igneous Jidinkos are better. However, options are, um, are there as well if you want to try both. So I'm going to turn on now and just show you some, as always, to make even more profit with Hunter. Um, items which you always use, use the outfit, use the axe piece stick. As always with Hunter, to get some perks and to make sure it's smoother and more XP possible, use the outfit, use the stick. To get more XP, you can also use an Arctic Bear Familiar. Setness potions as well will also increase your XP per hour. And the Grimwalls as well, some items which would be beneficial to bring will be the Bone Crusher, Herbicide and Herb Bag. Because they drop their bones um, and because they also drop herbs, Herbicide will get rid of any you don't want and Herb Bags is where you can store herbs that you do want. Another spot also for Ignis Shadinkos is just here, just slightly north of the base camp. So it's just in the Pavasaurus Rex big game hunt spot. Now you do need to be careful because if that walks over you, you will get stunned. You can anticipate or just walk out of the way, but um, once you set the traps up here, you'll be able to hunt them. Like as before as well, you can use the telekinetic trap like we did with the Ignis Jidinkos, which might be beneficial. It's all up to you um, if you want to make slightly less profit per hour. But this is actually a better and more profitable spot than the one near Finis. And as you can see there, I'm doing Hunter on the island, so I just earned one Hunter mark. That is what you need to be doing to get the 100 Hunter marks for the outfit. Like I said, so it'd probably be a decent place to do some Hunter here and earn that for the Trapper outfit. So doing this can net up to 9 mil per hour, um, and it's pretty chill and pretty relaxed once you get the hang of it as well, especially if you're going to use this spell. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, this is all related around Hunter because Hunter is actually quite a good money-making skill. To me, the Igneous Shadinkos and the Grimwalls are by far the best out of the three. We are in Salamanders with something a bit niche and a bit different, so I wanted to show it anyway. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and please like the video. Please leave me any comments of anything you want to see in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.